Hi, Alosha Linov here. I've got really good news. South African media is finally realizing the importance of water in our country. And I have been featured in a magazine and a newspaper just a couple of weeks back. Here's something from Eagle News. There's an article. So I've been sharing this knowledge with masses of South Africans. And here's an article from Urban Ecoli, <laughs> with me pushing a giant geodesic sphere as a water storage tank. And um, yeah, so that's really awesome. So we're finally getting the media on board. So they're starting to push the solutions forward to the public. I really look forward to be sharing this with you as I have some great knowledge that I've been traveling the world and I've collected some fantastic wisdom from other giants on water filtration and wetlands and natural systems that don't use any chemicals, that plants and biology and zoology are the water treatment mechanisms. This is the biochar oven that we'll be burning this weekend at the water treatment workshop. Come with me, I'll show you what else we'll learn. So as you can hear, we just had a lovely rain in Joburg. The Klein Yaksky River behind me is pumping. Firstly, this big pile of rubbish behind me, the sticks, the excess soil, the mulch, the manure, all of that will serve a berm that's going to catch over 1 million liters of water in the ground. And I'm going to be planting food forests, apple trees, cherries, berries, guavas, whatever I can plant in this cold winter will grow in this berm and it will be forever juicy and forever wet because all the moisture coming from upland will be caught and stored in this berm and once I mulch it there's no way for that water to escape it's just going to juice up any water coming from upslope is going to be caught in it so that's the first thing that we're going to learn this weekend let me show you a wetland that we're going to create come with me here is a wetland we're going to construct together, it's behind me, that is treating every single bath and shower water and we will be able to do it in less than two hours for under a thousand rand. We will construct a grease trap that will separate the bits and pieces as well as fats out of the water so this water can go straight to your fruit trees or even your garden and feed your garden straight from the kitchen without any wastage. And then the grease trap obviously needs to be cleaned once a three or five months. Depends if you've got little screens in your sinks or not. Well, I'll also show you the plumbing craze of all the fittings and connections. We'll actually be using them in the grease trap. And how it all works and how to go from black pipe to PVC pipe and so on. I will be sharing these plumbing craze with you so you can understand it. We'll also construct a floating wetland that will be able to float in any tank and clean that water with a pool noodle <laughs> and yeah that will be great fun I look forward to be sharing this with you as a bonus feature I'll share with you the water treatment system the biochar and a slow sand filtration system that I've learned in Thailand and this system will, is able to treat 300 liters of water a day any surface water or dam or pond even with pesticides and fertilizer, it can treat it. The biochar acts as an absorbent. It can also treat city rainwater, making it, turning it into spring water. And it can treat borehole water, rendable for drinking use. This system cost me 35,000 Rand to learn, to go to this workshop. And I will be showing it to you as an add-on feature, as part of the workshop. We'll actually construct this thing from start to finish and of course the best part of it all I'll show you the natural water filtration and how I was able to turn a hundred thousand liter pool into drinking water reservoir using plants and nature I look forward to be seeing you this weekend namaste